the president of the Peace Baptist Conference and the chairman of Christian Association of Nigeria, Peggy State. I have the honor to invite all churches, all believers, to the global crusade that is being organized by our beloved father, the pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, who by the special grace of God is coming to Ekiti. The crusade is taking off between December 22nd to 27th. This year, God is set to visit Ekiti land, and we are glad to receive this man of God in the land. The crusade is tagged Great Transformation for Total Triumph, which is going to be held in the Deeper Life Bible Church Campground. Ajiba Midele, Ado Ikere Road, in Ado Ikiti. The crusade is going to be aired all over the world. Because as it's going on in the Ikiti state, several people from all over the world will be participating in this crusade. God bless you as to come for total transformation, for deliverance, for healing, and for the salvation of your soul. It's going to be a great opportunity for you to be part of this crusade. God bless you as to come. Joy in the city, joy in your life, joy in your family, and joy everywhere in Jesus' name. It's a prophecy specifically for you in Ekiti State, Southwest Nigeria. The Global Crusade and Retreat, December 22 to 27, 2022. A new level of impact academy for youth, young adults, and professionals. Titled recharge to excel december 27 2022 at all 600 hours gmt all broadcasts live on satellite radio television and all our social media platform pastor dr w f kumoyi says you'll praise god you'll give your testimony and more as excellent worship comes from the usa with jonathan white our guest music minister gck the gospel to every creature. Of mind concerning your past, wrong belief. It's a change of direction from the past life. And when we think about and we're talking about repentance, it includes sorrow for sin. Sorrow for sin, that is, you now realize this is wrong. I've been walking against God. I've been talking against God. I've been living against God. And because of that, you have sorrow for sin, which is associated with that repentance. It is such sorrow that causes you to hate the sins of your past life. Because of the sorrow for sin you have, you hate the sins of your past life. It leads to confession. Confession of the sin and so they're turning away with all your heart. Now, mere confession is not repentance. Mere confession without hatred for sin is not genuine repentance. There are people that have regrets. That's not repentance. There are people that have remorse. That's not repentance. There are people that will just open their mouth and confess, we've done this, we've done this. Oh, they might even say we're sorry. But that's not real repentance. You see, there are people like that. They would say, they have sinned. And yet, oh God, can I still do it? Will you permit me? I don't hate that sin. I don't reject that sin. I'm not going, how, what, how can I live without that wrong pleasure, that fleshly pleasure? There's no repentance there. If you are running from judgment, if you want to escape judgment, if you flee from the wrath to come, if you are coming because you mean business, therefore bring forth fruits, meat, suitable for repentance. You have to take off the dirty clothes before you put on the new clothes. You have to take off the wrong ideas before you bring in sound doctrine. A repentant person doesn't tempt the Lord. A repentant person will not come and tempt preachers. They have their erroneous doctrine about how to please God. And those things are still there. I will say if you want to have Jesus Christ, Jesus is love. Jesus is power. Jesus is a miracle worker. Jesus can do all things. Raise up your hand. They raise up their hands. 
nothing touches their ideas, their opinions, and their false doctrine, and the false way they are going. And then they go back, and they go back to the same error, to the same ideology, to the same tradition. There's no repentance there. There's no salvation there. Repentance is turning. Repentance is turning away. You turn away your mind from the abominations. You turn away your desires from those abominations. You turn away your affection from those abominations. You turn away your heart completely from all those abominations. Being born into the church does not guarantee salvation because that would mean like we have Abraham as our father. We have coordinator as our father. And we have overseer as our father. And then just because we have Abraham as our father, we we'll see that's all. My father has done everything, consecrated everything. My father is great in this, our church. If anybody gets to heaven, of course all we as children must get to heaven. It doesn't work that way. That's why it says, don't think that because you have Abraham as your father, therefore, you're going to heaven. The axe is laid on the root of every tree. And any tree that does not bring forth good fruit will be cut down and they will be cast into the fire. The Lord is not willing that the children of pagans will go to hell. Children of Christians will go to hell. He's not willing that anyone will perish. And I pray that the fruit of repentance will be visible in every one of our lives in Jesus' name. Let's rise up and talk to the Lord. The Lord has taught us again today, and He wants us to be effective ministers of the gospel, preachers of the gospel. And He wants this good thing that we have known uh, to go to all the people. And your converse and the people we are talking to, they must, they must, they must have this genuine experience, repentance, reconciliation with God, righteousness,